All right, you talk about Irma, you talk about Puerto Rico. Uh, right, uh, right in the path of this monster storm, a Category 5, declaring a state of emergency now in Puerto Rico. Uh, that country's governor, Ricardo Rosario, on the phone with us. No, via Skype, I believe. Uh, governor, thank you for taking the time. You had a chance to sort of take a look at, at your country, how, how ready it is uh, for this. What, what do you think? Well, we've, uh, thank you for the opportunity, Neil. We've been, you know, since we took office, uh, public safety has been a critical component, particularly some of these uh, devastating events. So we've started working on protocols for the past five months. Uh, last week, I initiated the emergency protocol so that we can have everything ready from uh, food supplies to shelter, uh, making sure we identify those uh, uh, critical areas of flooding. Uh, so we've been starting to execute. And mainly today, Neil, the, the critical component is based on the nature and on the danger of Irma, uh, making sure we get people into safe uh, shelters, uh, protect lives over infrastructure, which there really at this point is no telling how damaging it could be. You know, I know as a U.S. Commonwealth, you, you can activate the National Guard. How many guardsmen have been activated? We, we've activated uh, the, the whole National Guard. Uh, I did so uh, a couple of days uh, ago, uh, making sure that, that we had all the prep going, right? We, you know, there, there have been estimates uh, of how uh, strong this, this storm is going to be, but we've always uh, assumed the worst in, in the preparation, and it served us right. Right now, you know, we're talking about a 180-mile-an-hour uh, hurricane uh, with, with gusts at the center going upwards of 200 miles per hour, uh, an hour. Uh, right now, it's, it's scheduled to pass uh, somewhere about 40 miles north, uh, northeast of Puerto Rico, uh, but still uh, the, the winds would, would be very damaging and ravaging to Puerto Rico. And if those estimates uh, just tilt a little bit southwards, that means we're getting a, uh, possibly the most damaging hurricane uh, in the modern history of Puerto Rico passing through. So we're, we're ready for it. Uh, we have a National Guard uh, ready for it. Uh, the federal government has been uh, very supportive in this effort just this morning, uh, spoke uh, to General Kelly, uh, the president uh, has an eye on this, uh, on this storm, spoke to uh, Secretary Price as well so that we can activate uh, certain provisions for Puerto Rico. And I actually uh, solicited uh, to the president a pre-landfall uh, emergency declaration uh, so that we can uh, get things moving and have the, the right resources uh, for the storm. Um, your people there, and of course, uh, in, in, right in the continental United States, you know, people, we're seeing this happen in Florida, uh, Governor, they're, they're, they're getting their hands on as many, uh, you know, cases of bottled water as they can, you know, emergency foodstuffs that could survive a power outage lasting days, if not weeks. Are you seeing the same thing in Puerto Rico? Yes, we have. Uh, I think part of the, the strategy was to alert people of the potential of this occurring about a week ago. So people started stacking up. Uh, we made sure that we had uh, provisions in the island so that we could supply uh, at least for, for the next three to four weeks. Uh, 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 we, we made that uh, very clear. We have the data to support that. Uh, people have been going to the stores, getting their, getting their materials. But most importantly, right now, you know, you know we're, we're in crunch time. We've uh, executed a lot of the efforts uh, so that we can secure some of the infrastructure, maybe uh, prevent some of the flooding. Uh, but right now, the effort uh, steers uh, directly into making sure that there's a mobility plan, that uh, municipalities are executing properly, that we're moving those people that are at most vulnerable positions to the, the proper shelters. And that's why I'm moving across the island, uh, you know, just made this stop right here. Uh, but moving across the island so that we make sure that everybody is aware of the grave danger that this uh, threat uh, might pose and that we're ready for it and that we can, uh, you know, uh, we don't know what the damage to infrastructure will be, but that we can save lives. All right. Well, uh, I know you have a lot of worries and a lot of concerns. We, we appreciate your taking the time. Uh, Governor Ricardo Rizzo in Puerto Rico, uh, that Commonwealth preparing up to be right in the direct path of this monster, Irma, now Category 5. Storm. Uh, Governor, we wish you well and, and your fine people.